I decided to share with you this bright and early Sunday morning the things that I include in my prayer basket. I got this idea from Team Church Girl. Thanks, Team Church Girl, for this wonderful idea. She did her prayer basket. So I decided to do a prayer basket, a prayer box, because we know one of the greatest things we can have is intimacy with God. And so one of the ways we do that is get prepared. We need to be prepared before we come into his presence. And so I decided to create a prayer box just like she did. So I'm going to share with you what's in my prayer box. First things I included were uh, a pen for writing. Pen. Got this pen from, uh, I think, Dollar Tree. So it's real cheap, about a dollar. I do love the little ball on the top. I think it's so girly, so I bought that. I also include a pencil because I like to go between mediums. Pencil, pen, I use both. I also picked up this box. Pretty box. I did not bring the top with me, but I did bring the box. As you can see, it has these beautiful magnolias on it. Has these beautiful berries and this um I wonder if it's a mockingbird, but anyway, beautiful little bird. Um, I am a Mississippi girl. I live in the South, so that's very important to me because I'm very cognizant of my heritage. Okay, so other thing I include with my prayer box is I have a journal, and this is a um little prayer journal that I keep. I absolutely love it. I have several of these. I love keeping notes. I love uh, writing down my ideas and what comes to me to talk about on my YouTube channel or some spiritual truths that I may have. Now, I did pick this one up from Ross. Okay, this goes in here. And as you'll notice, I have little stickies in here um, to notice things that I think are very important. I have a little notepad. This one is from Meridian Community College, which is one of the colleges here in our area. If you notice, it also has a little pen on the side. I, when I open it up, it has little pages. This is one of my other little notebooks. I bring along my planner. Let me tell you guys a secret. I love planners. I have several. I buy them constantly. I did pick this one up from Walmart. Okay? So while I'm spending time with God, I can also plan out the things that I'm going to do as far as my YouTube channel, as far as what I want to post on social media, as far as what I want to remember, what I want to share in my community tab. So I add that to my box. I brought along some of my Sunday school books. <laughs> and I said, so, because I don't like to throw these away. Be kind of hoarding, hoarding or whatever you want to, but because there's so much good information in here, I bring along one or two of these and I put these in my box. I also want to make sure I have a tablet. This tablet also came from Walmart. It's one of those very simple little cheap tablets that you get at Walmart. I think it's about a dollar at the most. It's about a book. So um, I have it folded back because I've been writing in here. And I want to make sure I keep up with all my stuff. I like to write. Can you tell? I also have my Bible included here. Let me tell you guys something about my Bible. I started to bring this really cute Bible for you to look at. So you can go, ah, oh, what a beautiful Bible. But I decided to include my actual Bible, the one that I use. It is a Precious Moments Bible. I've had it for several years. I've had two or three versions of it. As you can see, it's written in, it's tore up. Uh, I love this Bible, can you tell? I have ordered, like I said, a couple different versions of it. I keep it, I use it. I started a lot of you guys, but I just love this Bible. So if you can find your precious mama's Bible, get you one. I do have a Bible on my phone that I use also, but I just love this one. This is my go-to. And I also brought along it's not going to fit in my box, but my other planner that I love, that I also purchased from Walmart, it is uh, from Mint Green. Again, <laughs> Magnolias. So, thank you so much, Team Church Girl, for inspiring me to do this quick video on the things I would include in my prayer box and that I do include in my prayer box. I thank you guys for listening. Please share with me what you would include in your prayer box or what you want to do. And so... Thank you, guys. I see. Quick, I wanted to clarify. I did not mean lie, as in lie, to you about my Bible. I was not going to lie to you. What I was going to do is show you a nicer Bible that I own, one that I don't use as much, and one that's not my favorite. The Precious Mama's Bible is my favorite Bible, and that's the one that I use. So that's the one I went ahead and showed you. Just wanted to clarify. See you guys in the next video.